Today you'll be cruising around the French city of Marseille. Marseille is the second largest city in France and is located in the south of the country, directly on the Mediterranean coast. It was the most important trading center in the region and the main commercial port of the French Republic. Also nowadays it consists of a Mario seaport and right there you start your trip today. You start the excursion on the footpath near the cargo port, follow the white avenue-like street and get your first impressions of the city. Your plan is to discover the city's old harbour and end the trip at a great vantage point overlooking the city. On the way there you want to explore the city and are curious about what there is to see. You haven't even been on the road long and you already see the first architectural jewel appear in front of you. The oldest church of the city, which is called Cathedral of La Mayor by the locals. It is one of Marseille's emblems because the Cathedral of the Mayor is unique and represents all the power of the city. Very impressive. You keep marveling at La Mayor while continuing to move forward. The is behind you and you let your gaze wander towards the sea for the first time. A huge cruise ship has stopped here, you can see a modern building with a museum in it and the first old walls indicating that the old harbour can't be far away. You watch the hustle and bustle as you drive past. You have now reached the water and followed the path along the outer edge of Fort saint jean It's an important part of the military complex that is inseparable from Marseille's history. Today, Fort saint jean is one of the most visited monuments in Marseille. It's connected to the former port by a footbridge, forming an integral part of the Museum of the Civilizations of Europe and the Mediterranean that you can see to your right. You follow the path along the walls and keep catching beautiful views of the sea and then tilt your head back to catch sight of the tower. From up there you have a phenomenal view of the city. Your destination though is another viewpoint and so you keep going. In the distance you can even recognize the city's landmark and symbol, the Notre Dame de la Garde. With its height of 157 meters, its location on the highest hill near the old port and thanks to its outstanding appearance you can't miss it even from a distance. are truly phenomenal and the path along the old fortress is also an absolute hit. Simply beautiful and you can already see the first boats in the harbour ahead of you.
you're already halfway through your tour and it's only just getting started. The harbour seems really huge, you've already passed countless different boats and the imposing basilica still towers in the background. You follow the path further and further along the harbour and here you can almost no longer see the sea for all the boats. Small motor boats, sailing boats, older boats, but also modern yachts. There's a bit of everything here. You have now observed the happenings in and around the boat thoroughly and are looking ahead again. You have already made quite a bit of progress. The end of the harbour is in sight and you observe the architecture of the buildings here at the old harbour for a while. There's a lot going on around you. One of the typical French trains offering city tours passes you by and you see tents and stands which explain why it's particularly busy here today. The Rugby World Cup is currently taking place in France and Marseille is also a host city. You can't catch your breath, there's so much to discover here. Suddenly you find yourself right under one of the city's modern attractions, the so-called umbrella of the old harbour. 120 polished stainless steel panels make up the roof and allow you to take stunning pictures of the old port and its walkers. It's just so fun to drive under here and observe the unique perspectives through the mirror. Still enthralled by the attractions of the city, you continue around the old harbour. Now you're already on the other side and can see where you came from. Again you pass countless boats that are beautifully reflected in the water. What a beautiful sight. A little further on, at some point there's a small hill and then the viewpoint is not far away. Before you reach the absolute best view over the harbour at the end, you enjoy the views here. Behind all the boats you can see the Fort Saint Jean from a distance and in front of you lay Saint Victor Abbey, another famous religious, cultural and symbolic monument of the city. suddenly happens very quickly. You are up the hill in no time at all and very close to the end of your trip. Behind the trees you can already catch great views of the city and your anticipation rises. Almost there.
The view of the entire city is truly impressive. From here you can retrace the entire route you have covered, from the passenger port along the fortress, once around the old harbour and then up the hill to here. What a great trip. You enjoy the view to the fullest, a little further and then you will finish the trip. You made it. I'm impressed. That's moments we move for.